What's up, YouTube? This is JP Panther back with a video. And today's video is actually another anime uh, news update video. Again, I will link the article in the description box down below so you guys can check it out. This comes from uh, com comicbook.com. <clears throat> Um, One Punch Man to get live action film from Sony Pictures. And you guys don't know this. And, and again, it's been all over the internet and stuff like that. So One Punch Man is getting a live action movie. And you know I'm going to have a lot to talk about with this, right? If you need to know, uh, Sony is uh, adapting the, the movie and having writers from Venom. I'm like, freaking Venom. Uh, Scott Rosenberg and Jeff Pinker have been given the duty of writing the script for One Punch Man. And uh, at our production, will oversee the production of the film, which is in development. Fans will know that the writers for, from their work on two previous blockbusters, Jumanji the Next Level, uh, Venom, and A-Rap uh, production camp has kept busy on working with Spider-Man, Iron Man, X-Men movies. So the company is no stranger to superheroes. That is going to work in favor of One Punch Man. But the Japanese manga turn anime has a very different view of the genre. And again, as it goes on and on and on. Dude, this thing is long as hell. I'm not going to read all of it. Then they talked about how, you know, Hollywood has big plans for Cowboy Bebop, One Piece for Netflix, uh, Naruto continue to be tweaked about. Because, you know, uh, Warner Bros. has the rights to do a lot of action Naruto movie. Akira, um, Taka Rotiti, uh, and it just keeps going on and on. Talk about how certain animes and stuff like that and blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> Again, you guys already kind of know what I'm going to say about anime live actions. I don't, I'll be honest with you, right? And, you know, some people will be like, no, oh, JP, it can work. No, it can't. Because, listen, only live action anime I felt like they got right was Alita Battle Angel. And again, I'll be honest with you, I'm a hardcore anime comic book fan. I didn't even know who Alita, Alita was. And Alita was good for what it was. Uh, I enjoyed it, but again, it didn't resonate with the general public. And you had James Cameron produce it. So, you know, the dude who did Avatar Titanic, you know, who's really, really credible, even though we have a lot of issues with him when it comes to the Marvel movies, he did a, a live action anime and it flopped. So. Again, so in my personal opinion, when it comes to live action anime, they always fuck it up. Uh, Dragon Ball Evolution, Avatar Last Airbender, Ghost in the Shell. They did Death Note on like uh, Americanized Death Note on Netflix. I heard that was terrible. I didn't even watch that. Even anime like in Japan, they messed up their thing. Like Attack on Titan, heard it was live action wasn't good. Uh, the Full Metal Alchemist one wasn't that good. Um, Tokyo Ghoul wasn't that good. Bleach, I saw some of it. Bleach seemed okay, but Gitama, even when I did Gitama, the problem is a lot of them, they just don't feel like they're realistic, you feel me? It just seems like somebody's put on a cosplay, and it just looks like someone grabbed their, you know, phone, iPhone, and just recorded it, you know what I mean? That's what it looks like. In my, when Japanese, they do their live-action anime movies, but at least with um, a big, big studio, they'll, ha they'll at least have the bigger budgets where it makes it look kind of realistic with the CGI and stuff like that. But One Punch Man, I'll be honest with you, I have no faith with them in my personal opinion because they can't even get Spider-Man right. Because, think about it. You had the first Spider-Man, one and two were good. Toby, the third one, did bad. And then one, Andrew Garfield, the first one was enjoyable. The second one was terrible. I mean, you had freaking Amazing Spider-Man and the first Spider-Man and with Sony messing it up and stuff like that. You haven't heard shit from... Uh, Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. So I don't trust them with this stuff. And it got so bad where Disney had to Marvel, really Disney Marvel, had to take their take the Spider-Man character and make him Disney fy just so he could be profitable and financial, you feel me? And uh be a popular franchise again. So I don't trust Sony when it comes to this stuff. Also, Sony did Charlie's Angels. I mean we I did a whole video talking about that. Uh, they did Ghostbuster 2016. I mean, I know you guys remember that. And the thing is, I just don't trust them with Sony. I just don't, man. I really don't trust them with live action anime. And I talked about this before with you guys. I talked this with my friends, my family, my brother. I just feel like, in my personal opinion, and I've done a bunch of videos talking about it, is that anime is getting more and more popular, getting super mainstream in a very short amount of time, especially with this coronavirus. Even though we have a, a delay from the coronavirus when it comes to anime production, there's another article that talks about, and again, I might, I'm not sure, you guys can look it up, whatever, but pretty much they talk about how anime can be done 
most of the anime that you see on like Crunchyroll and Funimation stuff like that are online. Most of it's done by computer. You know what I mean? They don't have to really draw out every like manga is different because you're drawing in and stuff like that. But most of the um, animation and all that, most of the stuff they do is mostly computer. So they could still drop episodes when they're still stuck at home in Japan. You feel me? But when it comes to One, Pit, One Punch Man live action. Again, if you had the right people who actually gave a shit about it, it could do really successful. Uh, I don't think they understand what One Punch Man is. Because One Punch Man is still superhero anime, but it's still like a meme. It's still kind of like a satire type of thing. You know what I mean? Like, it's still joking around. Like, One Punch Season 1, I thought was a 10 out of 10 in my personal opinion. The Season 2, uh, what Mad Man, uh, uh, just animation wasn't that good, but... Live action, I'm like, who would even play Satama? Like, who would he? The Rock? Vin Diesel? Like, come on, like, tell me who will do it, you feel me? And the problem is, if they're doing a live action, the anime fans are not going to play that bullshit like DC and Marvel fans do. Because DC and Marvel fans, and I'm a DC Marvel fan as well, the problem is, you have these big blockbuster movies like Avengers Endgame and Joker that makes all this money, it does not transfer at all to the comic books, and also the DC and Marvel fans don't peer pressure Marvel Studios or DC or Warner Brothers and all of them to make sure you promote the comic books as well. Make sure it's like before you have the movies come out, make sure it's say like, uh, the beginning of the movie, support your local comic book shop so at least people in around the world be like, oh, okay, that, and so I could, you know, shout out to the comic book shops so that they could get a boost from the movies and stuff like that. They don't do that any, they don't even do any of that in the end credits, you feel me? So it just shows you that Hollywood really don't give a fuck about the source material. They just use the source material so they could use as a blueprint to make these big blockbuster movies because they know that the geeky nerdy shit is what makes money. You know what I mean? The things that are socially successful in society can't. But the problem I have with uh, One Punch Man or just anime in general is just like them doing live action. The thing is the anime fans are just not going to play that crap. They're going to be like, yo, have you read the manga? Have you watched the anime? No. Then we're not going to support your thing and we're going to boycott your movie. Like Scarlett Johansson, she found out real quick that they were like, yo, you better go take your bullshit with those, go do those Avengers movies and those Black Widow movies or whatever it is. You do not come in here and play that game with the anime community because when Scarlett Johansson was promoting the movie uh, Ghost in the Shell again I'm not a big fan of Ghost in the Shell I know there's a whole big fan base with it uh, I never got in the show I thought it was kind of boring but when Scarlett Johansson I guess the people were asking her like have you read the manga have you watched the anime no they're like okay we're gonna boycott your movie and what happened the movie bombed and she was supposed to get like you know, no, I think she was supposed to have like a trilogy when it comes to Ghost in the Shell and also the movie was really really bad at her uh, they're like okay you ain't getting no more tr uh, Ghost in the Shell movies. I'm not know. That's it. Like, anime fans, they let you know from Jump Street. Like, if you mess up once, you ain't getting another chance like that. Dragon Ball Evolution. What happened to the cast of the people who did those movies? I haven't heard any of them got any roles in like 10 or 9. I haven't heard any of them get any roles in my personal or big, bu big, big budget roles, whatever, to pay the bills. I, I haven't heard anything from them. When they did that movie, it was gone. The director, he said he pretty much screwed. But again, like, again, that's what happens when you fuck with the anime community. We ain't playing that game. Now, DC and Marvel's a little different because they play around with too many games, you feel me? Like the Snyderverse, how it was all... You know the movies were trash, and then you guys kept on letting it go without holding Warner Brothers and uh, DC and Zack Snyder accountable for the BS. Um, even movies like, you know, X-Men and Fantastic Four, there's no way in hell the Marvel fans, sh especially the comic book fans, should allow them to fuck up X-Men and Fantastic Four for 20 years. 20 years! You can't let that go. 20 years. I mean, even X-Men, like Dark Phoenix and The Last Stand, like, The Last Stand should have been the first one to be like, boom, we don't want no more X-Men movies after that. Then you have the Wolverine movie. I mean, again, like, the Marvel DC fans are so obsessed with seeing it live action and they kind of want to see what they read in the comics on the big screen and make sure that um, they kind of see what they read on the big screen. But the problem is the people who watch these movies are not going to buy the comics and not going to support the franchise off the screen like that. You feel me? Like us as anime fans, we really don't care about, you know, seeing it live action. You feel me? We're happy that we get the manga, animate it, and if it gets popular, it gets popular. If people don't like it, they don't like it, and that's just what it is. You feel me? Because the problem is the, you could have a big movie like Avengers Endgame and Joker that makes a billion dollars and all that crap, but it doesn't help the comic book sales at all. You feel me? It doesn't help the source 
material. And also the thing is as well that even when you have these big blockbuster movies like last year, you know, somehow Disney's going through all this crap, whatever. Um, like Avengers and Frozen 2 and Lion King, Aladdin, Captain Marvel, Spider-Man, Joker, all these movies, AMC still lost money. The movie theater still lost money. So again, like when you do these live action like superhero geek culture movies, it has to translate all around, you feel me? Not just for the studio, you feel me? And the problem is, is that um, I feel like the reason why they're doing live action anime because it, uh, Hollywood has run out of ideas. They know that this anime manga thing is getting really, really popular in a short amount of time. They see all the kids liking it. They see it. They see that superhero movies or comic book movies are going to eventually go on a decline. I'm really, especially now with the phase, the phases and the movies, stuff like that, DC movies, stuff like that, because they're going to get tired of seeing the same generic formula over and over and over. People want to see new stories. People want to see something different. People want to see a different perspective on storytelling. And they're like, okay, anime manga is popular. Let's go get that. Let's make it live action. Let's make a bunch of money. And I feel like the anime fans are going to hold uh, Sony, Warner Brothers, D uh, Disney and Universal, if they do these live action anime, a lot more accountable than the DC and Marvel fans or even the hardcore comic book comic book fans in general. They're not going to let it be used as a corporate cash grab. That's pretty much it, guys. Tell me what you guys think about this uh, live action One Punch Man. Do you guys agree with it? Do you guys disagree with it? Let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you rate and like the video and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Peace and have a great day and take care.